It's incredible. No other way to describe it. Right, Score Bunny? He says hi. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up broski that's right you see that like button you know you want to push it you know you want to push it push the like button bro all right we have some pretty incredible nintendo switch news items for this video but the first one the october 2019 NPD numbers have come out and the Xbox is on top in an alternate reality psych the switch is killing it once again the Nintendo switch is the best-selling hardware platform outselling both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox one and every single month the switch has been killing it I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again I really think when the Xbox, the new Xbox, the new PlayStation comes out, they may be taken for about two months or so because they're going to be the hot item. But once everything starts to level out, the Switch is going to still crush it. Software. Software is what pushes hardware. And the Switch has the games, boy. Pokemon just dropped. Luigi's Mansion 3 is on fire. We're going to talk about that in a second. So many great games, and I don't have time to play it all. And so, the Switch not only is the best-selling console in the U.S. for October, it's past 15 million. That was already announced last month. And sales are up 20% year over year. So, it's on an incline, not a decline so the switch is killing it and great news for luigi's mansion 3 it has officially become the best selling game in the series it has the best launch luigi's mansion 3 has outsold luigi's mansion 2 and the first game at launch and what's crazy about it is it luigi's mansion the first game was a launch title for the GameCube, but Luigi's Mansion 3 still crushed it. The Switch install base is larger than the GameCube's, and not just that, the software is selling on the Switch. That's what's so great. Not just the hardware, but software selling. One thing's about the one thing about the Wii is the Wii, great hardware sales. Software sales was something else. Because a lot of people were just buying it for Wii Sports and just playing Wii Sports. But with the Switch, dudes and dudettes are picking up the games. Speaking of dudettes, another study has shown that since the Switch Lite has um, launched, more female gamers are picking up the Switch Lite than the original Switch because it's smaller, has a different colors. I think it, it just appeals to everyone. And so, great news all the way around for the Switch. And so, for October... The best-selling game on the Switch was Luigi's Mansion 3. And what's crazy about this is Luigi's Mansion 3 came out on the very last day of the month, bro. <laughs> October 31st on Halloween. And so the top five games in October for the Switch were Luigi's Mansion 3, number one, Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, I got my Ring Fit. Ring Fit Adventure at number two. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening number three. Mario Kart um, eight at number four. And Super Smash Brothers still coming at number five. Speaking of Luigi's Banjo three, bro. Jeff Keighley has announced that the nominations for Game of the Year are about to open soon for the Game Awards. Bro, my Game of the Year right now. Luigi's Mansion 3, bro. Game is lit. I'm coming all... I'm almost to the end. I have about three more floors to go. I'm going to beat it, even though Pokemon has just launched. Pokemon, I'm liking it too. But um, 
Luigi's Mansion 3 need to be there and Fire Emblem. Those are two games, Nintendo games, I'm rooting for for the game of the year. Now, Link's Awakening, it's a remake, so I don't know if how they do it with the remakes, but definitely those two. Next news item. No, they did it, bro. <laughs> no, they did it, bro. Star Wars and Fortnite. There's a Star Wars crossover in Fortnite. Bro, it's been a minute since I bought a Fortnite skin. I'm going to get the Stormtrooper skin. I wish they had a Jedi skin. But I'm getting the Stormtrooper um, The Imperial Stormtrooper skin is being added to Fortnite. And further content is also being teased for the collaboration. And so, I'm going to wait. I'm going to ask some dudes that I know are up on the whole Fortnite thing to see when does the Stormtrooper... Because I do want to... If it's only going to be a Stormtrooper skin, I'm buying the Stormtrooper skin. But I really want a Jedi skin. So I'm waiting out to see if they have a Jedi skin. Jedi pickaxes, lightsaber pickaxes. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Star Wars. Y'all got to. And um, Star Wars, is, um, Disney is smart. Bro, Disney Plus just launched. The Mandalorian is so good, bro. Movie A plus quality effort production is in the mandalorian disney plus has exceeded my expectations so far so fortnite star wars crossover you already know ov1 you know we getting it star wars is my favorite bro with pokemon launching bro this is how much i, I like nintendo i haven't even picked up the fallen jedi yet because i know i'm not gonna have time to play that and um pokemon why why? <sighs> Next news item. Mario Kart Tour. Nintendo has just announced the Winter Tour. The Winter Tour um, starts next week in Mario Kart Tour. I have to say, I haven't really been playing Mario Kart Tour. My thing is, when I'm out, I have my Switch with me, bro. And so, I really just have uh, my phone alone. If I have my phone alone, I might um, pick up play Mario Kart Tour. But when I have this, the Switch, there's a dope portable system. I could play console games. I could play Luigi's Mansion 3. Even though this is a good game, I've just never been a fan of touchscreen gaming. So to each their own, not my thing, but might be your thing. All right, next news item. Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection. That has been announced for the Switch, but the game has been delayed until February 25th, which I don't get. How are you going to delay an old game, bro? understand they had to upgrade and do crazy new things. It ain't that too much you got to do, bro. Ain't too much. Well, they did upgrade some of the assets. So, okay, I get it. All right, so February 25th is when this game comes out. And the last news item for this video, it's Pokemon Day. Pokemon Sword Shield has officially launched. My initial impressions on the game. I'm liking the game. I get the whole animation gate. I get the issues where it feels like a little bit like a 3DS game with a little bit more shading and lighting effects. I get that. So I'm anyone who complains against that, I'm not even going to argue against it. It probably could have been a little better, but I still think the game looks good, plays good. I seem like something about it, bro. Just doing the first couple battles, they streamlined stuff in the game to make it just quicker. And so, really, really liking Pokemon. My J's fell. You know, we got to keep the J's right, bro. Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, really liking the game. Speaking of Pokemon Sword and Shield, I am having a giveaway. Click subscribe as well as follow me on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and you are in the running on the 31st. I'm giving away a copy, Pokemon Sword or Shield. Also, before I leave tonight with the sponsors, going to be gaming with the sponsors. We're going to be doing some Pokemon battles on my YouTube gaming channel, um, Twitter, 
Twitch. The link's in the description on the channels that I stream simultaneously every night. And if you want to become a sponsor, the link's in the description. Everything's in the description. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was.